<laughs> okay. This has got like, where, do, where does it point when you put it in the middle? I'm so sorry if we spend the next 20 minutes doing the exact same thing. <laughs> but I don't know what else to do. There's nothing pointing somewhere that we can pick up. Exactly. Okay. Let's do what we were doing, but maybe do it smaller. I'm, maybe... Why didn't it spin? Did we just do it? What the hell? <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just like not far away from that at all. Yeah. We were <laughs> God, I thought we were going to be doing that for like three episodes. So why is there a, like a tunnel? What about the beaver thing? Or maybe we go down this and we yeah, get a lock, get a lock, no, a key, a key for yeah. the lock. A lock for the key. That'd be funny. But I guess if you find the key and you don't have a lock, yeah, you have to find a lock for a key. Why is he driving around <laughs> it that way? <laughs> it's it super like close. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where are we? That's a key. Is that all that's I'm down here? Of that sign. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Good key spotting. Did you not see it? No. It's like the only thing on the screen, isn't it? <laughs> Look across his mouth when you see that noise. It looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart bone by bone and build with you a human throne. <gasps> Their buck tooth king will sit upon what once was you. But now is gone. The this beaver kills them all. the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Oh no, puzzle. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pass up an old creepy key. Okay. Put it away. What's up there, though? Should we get back in? They'll tear you and oh, oh no, no, no. Traveler, use it well. I don't think we can go up that way with Glottis. Up here? Why not? Yeah, it doesn't look like the car can get through there. But we've got the... these. I don't know what they're called. What are they called? Suspension. Suspension. Oh, you're right. No, wait, what? We weren't in yet. I didn't click on anything. Yeah, no, we can. Okay. But yeah, you didn't click on anything. Okay, the beasts of Black River are blowing bubbles at the bottom. So let's power on through, huh, Glot? Manny, look at that badass gate. I can't here? drive through that. I don't we know. have to find the key. Ejole. I am so confused. Okay, let's just. Is that meant to happen? Open the bloody gate. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I think we did it in a weird order. That's the key, right? It's like a wooden spoon. <laughs> That's no this key, that's a huge. spoon. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aww. Aww. Manny. I'm so confused as to what's going on right now. We're trying to find what's her name. Oh, her name. yeah, she was walking. Somewhere, wasn't she? What's her name? Hello? Yeah, she ended up walking. Miss Coloma! Oh, Miss Coloma. Oh, We're here to save you! Hey, lay off the racket, the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna uh. go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. I don't understand where we are, though. We're in a town. <laughs> what is he doing? So loud. It's reminds me of mist. What, because of the mist? No, these weird, like, okay. colours and stuff. Should we see what's this way? Yeah. 
The colours aren't that Dogs weird. Or something. Well, the colours remind me of mist a lot. What's going on? Okay. Good thing we're already dead. Tourists. <laughs> I like this guy. The music. Both is asleep. You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicon is the sulking. quaint little poor town she used to be. Okay. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. <laughs> we could talk to him. Yeah, if, if we can. Talk to us. What are we doing? Shivering. <laughs> Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? Be best buddies. Yeah. Let's look at him. Okay. I've always wanted one of those jackets. <laughs> there was this one high pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied <laughs> to a cruise missile. <laughs> That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Oh, you folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? Uh... We're looking for the lady. Is there any work? <laughs> we just ask, oh, how'd you get around here with all the mist? <laughs> so the first one. Yeah. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm uh, not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a I remember. tattoo? She was a hot tattoo. Head was a skull. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? <laughs> Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Oh, well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation oh, read. Hey, yeah. hey, okay. We used to sh scream like a banshee. Look at their conversation. They're just silently mouthing words at each other. It's all hush hush. If we go back. It's not a very big way. town, is it? It's just a dock. Maybe beyond. I think I'll wait for the okay. fog to clear okay. before I oh, the town. town again. In that way, fog. okay. How do we get the fog to clear? Surely we can't. We wait. Well, we just wait. <laughs> All our lives. Ah, his face. This place looks cool. Mm. I hate the way mustard spouts get all crusted like Ugh. that. I have bigger things on my mind right now than condiments. Just take the condiments. The glove compartment on the bone wagon is full of tiny ketchup and mustard packets. Not to mention soy sauce. I really don't need any more. I thought you picked one up though when you said that. <laughs> yeah, it was like yeah, putting it in his mouth. This guy. this guy looks familiar. Mr. Flores, oh. I'm ready to take Who? you now. Manny Calavera. Is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? Yeah, <laughs> because he's cause in his costume. He's got little stilts, remember? When he's dressed up like a grim reaper. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's on the walking stick. Oh, from the very beginning. What are you doing here? Well, 
If you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. Mm. It is said that all lost what, souls he's come to Rubakava. So Ms. Colin, I came here to wait for her. I hope not. Bugger I'm looking for a woman named Can't Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name. And you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone. So I watch the comings and goings so he hasn't seen very her. carefully. Yeah. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. Um... How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have oh, waited for I bet me. She's coming ahead. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? Oh, I kept it. I'm trying to reclaim so, the wall. know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. So we have to get a job. I guess so. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. So we She'll got be the one well, asking for his her beloved Celso. Because he'll be moving on. I don't want to be a janitor. Why not? What's wrong with that? Hey. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried it. In coffee. Believe me, it attracts the wrong kind of women. <laughs> Put hmm. an ad in the coffee. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried, I tried it. it. Believe, Believe me. me, it attracts the wrong kind of women. Hmm. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> why is it the same thing for everything? Why was, why was the other guy's mouth moving when you said that? <laughs> yeah, that was really. Wait, creepy. this is all we can do. I was expecting we could continue. <clears throat> because what have we got in us? Bones? Do you still have bones? No, Science? probably not. Ooh, examine it. It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. That's not very nice, Manny. <laughs> oh, that's bad. all we've got. Okay, I guess everything Let's else will take Let's across. put it in the ad. <laughs> I don't really want to do that. We could ask the boatsman. Yeah. I just got this thing. <laughs> hmm. Other than that, there seems to only be condiments. Uh, and the paper. What do you have there? We can't do anything on this screen. Doesn't can we? look like it. Oh, apart from walk really so. <laughs> Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking oh. for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago oh, in no. a cozy portside cabin built for two, <gasps> and she wasn't alone. <gasps> what a hoe! How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. That's a tough break, Junior. But you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. What? I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny. We <laughs> were in the middle of a conversation here. <laughs> hey, hey, look. Did we get the port log? I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port. Is it and I never saw her again. Yeah, what was her name? The SS La Mancha yeah. was her name. But don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. I did don't we, know if we got we anything, anything, but up? I think we could just tell him. Oh, I don't want to tell him. I do, because then we can nick his job. Oh. Poor guy. Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There's only room for one. What about Glottis then? Okay, what? Maybe really? Oh. He gave us the whole Examine book! It. Velasco's logbook says Celso's wife took a bunk with a honk. <laughs> Why did he give Do you think it says that? Exactly. Celso, your wife sailed out so. of here two months ago with another man. Oh. Oh. It's all in there. Oh, oh Manny. 
Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Nope. Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. I that compass that's in the handle was <laughs> shortcut in running. handy too. Oh, it's got a compass in the handle. That's an amazing mop. Year one. How many years are we doing? Whoa, lag. Why is it lagging? Because of all the crazy graphics. <laughs> so a year passes. It's so time. long to get to this one. Is that a cactus? One year later. That's, That's crazy. I remember this. I don't. I haven't played it. I don't remember any of the puzzles, but I just remember bits of the Why story. are we dressed like that? What's happened? Because that's how I drew us for the cover picture. Hey boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. It's a glottis. She sounds like your oh. type. Is it met, Jay? Well, looks like a quiet night in old Ubacaba. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Is it a boat, did you say? Yeah. That wants to talk to her. <laughs> oh wait, should we look at it as well? So we pretty much own this town now. Yes. Do we still have the mop oh, with the compass in it? <laughs> I hope so. No! What was the point of that? Oh! It was the walking stick, wasn't it? You think? The walking stick had a compass in the top. Oh, that's My what that's about. time communications from Salvador. He's Ooh. been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching Yay. of the eggs you liberated. The mm. hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are Ooh. quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. That's weird. Who Guess does we that? need it at some point. Ah, to sleep. Percant. What if Mecha makes her big arrival and I sleep through it? No moving furniture when I'm in my tux. <laughs> it's a small bed. I like the music. Yeah. Ooh, ah, what? Lady Luck. Oh, that's that's dishonest. What? Changing the numbers no. and stuff. Okay, I'm guessing this is a black. Probably a puzzle for later. Yeah, I don't speak French, though, so I don't know what's going on. Some m m madams and misters. <laughs> ma sirs and ladies. What do you call it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? It's a little guy who told us about the lady waiting for us. Wait, what? That was a woman, wasn't it? <laughs> Glottis. No, that's the little guy with the hat. Why is it a woman? Oh, the woman, woman told whatever, us about whatever little person. Been in the sugar again. <laughs> Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Oh, no, I have one. to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. <sighs> Bogan. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home like are the same people <laughs> who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. He's Bogan. Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down at the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. <laughs> it's so cool. Want to hear about <laughs> it? She loves her job. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Okay. Tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. <laughs> I go to all this 
work organizing no. your coats and you don't even care. Oop. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> think she'll come in tonight? Yes, I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> it's taken her a year so, to get there. We okay. got there in like five minutes. Okay. That's even with that puzzle we cannot understand. <laughs>